you guys. My name is Tia. My name is Brynn. And we are doing episode three. I don't know why I always do two hands. Three. Um, for Tia's Tasteful Treats. You can do two in one. Well, there you go. Um, nope, can't do it. I always do double. One. <laughs> one. Two. <laughs> We're horrible at this. Two, one, equals three. Three. Can't do math. So today we are going to be making quiche Lorraine tartlets, um, which is, you can do for like a dessert, you can do for snacks, fun stuff. I, I have the recipe on my laptop, so if you see me doing that, it is me scrolling it down, because I really want to show you guys how to do it from start to finish i want to thank those who have been subscribing we got two more i don't know why i do double two more subscribers so we have a total of seven ha! i did that one right ha i went um if you guys hear elvin and the chipmunks in the background i have to distract my other two just so i can um it's the not deal with my all the time. Okay. It's the so, first uh, one and it's the Christmas version. The original. Okay. So step one for making this quiche is quiche tartlet. Um, it's to preheat the oven to 400. I have that going. So if you hear a beep, that means it's preheated. Um, and then we're going to unroll the pie crust onto a lightly floured surface, which is a, what I already did. Um, because I noticed like the and there's the beat. So step one is to preheat oven. Check. Unroll the one pie crust. Check. Onto a lightly floured surface. Check. I don't know why I did that twice, but check. Um, spacing closely together, cut 12 discs from crust using the outer tube of a measure all cup. Um, and it wants to do nine on the outside of the dough and then three on the inside. So that is what we are going to be doing. I did grab everything, hopefully, as I did it. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing the outside of it. So we'll be doing this. Nope, sorry. Other side. Okay, Brian? Okay. How many servings? Um, this one has 24 servings. Alright, so we got an extra one. Um, mm. I did this one pretty thin, like, um, it was already, like, in one of these here. And we basically, which is already thinned enough, and then I rolled it out a little bit more, so it might be a little thin. Um, oh, yeah, but that's. We only have 13. Where's the 13? I don't know where you put it. Where you put in this one. Okay, never mind, we have 12. Um, okay. We also have extra crust. Alright, so next part is to... This can be a big tartlet. Press the discs into the wells of the deluxe mini muffin pan, which will be this here. That is way more than 12. Yeah, that's why you gotta do it twice. So we'll do it like this. And, um... It says to use a mini tart shaper. We used to own one of those. We no longer do. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my hands. And it says to ruffle the edges. Ren, is there any like thing that you want us to make next week? Um, let me think about it. So we got 24 of those all done. And then oh, we have to cook them. Nope, we're not cooking yet. Um, and then we're going to put this back over here. Number two step is to whisk eggs half and half 
in salt. So you need two eggs, a half a cup of half and half, and an eighth teaspoon of salt. And you can use the plastic batter bowl. So we're going to take it. It looks like milk. It's not just like egg and it's like Yep, half and half is like milk. I'm going to whisk it. And then we're going to pour into a measure all cup. Set egg mixture aside and wipe down, wipe out batter bowl with paper towel. We're gonna pour this in here. And we're gonna put this to the side. So we did that. Step three. Ha! Almost at it. Three. I can't count. Three is finely chop bacon and bell pepper with the food chopper. I end up finding out that I don't even own a food chopper. Hi. Here's the little man. I ended up getting one. So I got the bacon. So you need four pieces of cooked bacon. She got extra? No, I got like the actual package. We just made extra. Yeah, and then and we're gonna do this. And what you gotta do? Press gonna, down like this. Gonna do it like that. And it like this. There we go. And we're gonna chop it. And then with the bell pepper, you need a half of it of the bell pepper. So I already like cut it up. Um, so you guys didn't have to see me doing that. And then we're gonna be putting it in the food chopper. This out quick. I mean, like the bacon and the bell pepper are going to be going in the same thing anyway, so we may as well just. Right there. And then finely chopped bacon and bell pepper with food chopper. Press out the excess moisture from the bell pepper using paper towels. Finely chop chives using the utility knife. Um, with the chives, you need two tablespoons. I already did one. I have. So I'm going to be doing another tablespoon. We're going to use the utility knife. It says to grate the cheese. Um, you'll need Swiss cheese. I did not do that. I don't have um, what you need to like grate the cheese. I ended up. I just do store bought cheese because that's how I am. Um, and then what we will do is combine the bacon, the bell pepper, and the cheese and the chives in the batter bowl. And then we're going to mix it. We're going to take bell pepper, bacon, and about the egg thingy? Chives. Whoa, that looks like a cool kind of salad. And cheese. It's over there. Uh, close the flour, please. You will need a half a cup, I believe. Yep, a half a cup of Swiss cheese. I have a half cup out here. Oh, it's right here. Cup 
and even sets it. And then we're going to mix it with the scraper. It's like a close Small mix and scraper. I'm using a big one just because. Can I stir? You are my assistant. I almost fell down. I almost fell forward. Um, and then you have to pour the egg mixture evenly into the tart shells. Sprinkle with the cheese mixture. Cut. Oh, I forgot the tomatoes. Cut the tomatoes in half. Uh, so we need to pour the egg mixture into the tartlets very, very carefully. And you have to do it evenly. Sprinkle with cheese mixture. So what we'll do... We're gonna bring this over. Okay, so gonna we're gonna grab it. And we're gonna go like this. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So that way I can cut the tomatoes. But you gotta sprinkle it. That goes crazy. There's a ton in there. So put that one in there. This one has a ton in there. So we're gonna put that one in here. Okay, go wash your hands again. I am cutting up the grape tomatoes and putting them in the middle of the tartlets. But yeah, this is very, very easy to make. Um, and my little one wants to do muffins. So if you guys have like an idea of like what type of muffins you want to see, um, comment below um if you guys have tried tartlets before or have not tried tartlets before but want to definitely comment on that as well cut tomatoes in half crosswise press one tomato in half cut side up into the center of the tartlet sprinkle with black pepper and then bake it for 14 to 16 minutes or until the egg mixture is set and the crusts are golden brown Remove the tartlets to serving platter and sprinkle with additional chopped chives if desired. Um, so we will be baking in this right now. Um, when we come back, um, I will show you what the end result will be. All right, you guys, we are back. I ended up getting done with the tartlets. I cooked them for 16 minutes, um, and I wanted to show you what they look like. I'm actually super, super excited with how they turned out because it was my very first time making them. But at the same time, they're not all the same like shape. Like for example, this one looks like that, and then this one. Want that? Yeah. And then this one looks like this. My lighting is horrible. And then whereas this one is more like circled. And then this one is like tiny. Er versus the this one. I think this one looks perfect because that is exactly how it looks in the um, picture, um, a little too golden brown, but that's all right. Um, if you guys enjoyed, um, us making this next month, next month, next week. We're going to make muffins. We're making muffins. Can we do a blueberry, do a strawberry and blueberry muffin? I am going to wait and see if... Anybody like tells me what they want to have first versus before we do our own, okay? Um, yeah, if you guys have any crusts, if you guys want blueberry muffins, let us know, comment. Um, if you guys want like a strawberry muffin, let us know. You can comment below. Please like this video. You can get all these ingredients, um, uh, not ingredients, you can get these products at my website at www pamperedchef.com slash p-w-s slash t-m-e-i-g-i-o I am super excited that this is our third one and for it to look like that uh, oh there we go 
But there you guys have it. I'm super excited. Thank you for joining me on episode three. I finally did it with one hand. There y'all go. That's so good. Yeah, it was really good. All right, so I will. We will see you guys next week. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. We already got seven, and we are trying to go up more. So I will see. Our goal see is ten subscribers. No, our, our goal is a lot more than that. Our goal is a hundred subscribers. Way more than that. <laughs> our goal is a billion subscribers. Wait, maybe we can get that YouTube plaque. That gold one? Yeah. That's my goal. That's like over a million subscribers. Like this, comment, share. So this this one. Can be happy. I'll see you guys later. Bye.